All aboard, it's Jang here with a look at a Playmobil Pirate set. This is the current pirate ship. The big one comes with 176 pieces officially. The ship itself is about 27 inches long and 22 inches tall. I feel like it strikes a nice balance between looking old and looking vibrant. There are just a few bright red pieces plus these red colored stickers that really liven it up just the right amount. Everything you see that's brown in color has at least textured plastic, if not a nice wood grain texture applied to the top. Much of the rigging is designed to allow your figures to grab on. That'll allow you to pose them for some dramatic sword fights high above the deck. The sails are nicely printed and they have kind of a thick paper sort of feel to them, but they're made of synthetic fibers so they're very water resistant. They also don't crinkle up as easily as paper. The hull of the ship is sealed and completely waterproof, but instead of a ballasted keel, they give you just a couple of small little wheels under there. As a result, it plays well on a floor or a desk, but it's not stable when floated in water. Playmobil does make a weight to attach to the bottom of the hull to make it seaworthy, but unfortunately that's sold separately. Let's take a look at some of the play features of the ship. Up front there's an anchor that you can cast off and that's attached to a winch so you can let it down and bring it back in. They use a thick silver colored string here to represent chain so it's a little bit on the stiff side. Ports on both sides of the ship can be flipped open to reveal the simulated tips of cannons. Let's emphasize the word simulated, they're just little round pieces of plastic. The little doors can be flipped up all the way or you can just bring them horizontal which I personally think looks better. There are a couple more believable and usable cannons on deck and we'll look at those more closely later. Right in the middle of the ship is a very nice cargo hoist. This uses a very simple but working pulley system. This gives a great opportunity to teach kids about mechanical advantage. To operate the thing there's a winch on the other side of the forward mast. Because of that mechanical advantage you have to turn this thing a lot to make your cargo move a little. The boom at the top can swing side to side but not far enough to bring your cargo out over the side of the ship to offload or onload with a smaller boat or a dock. You have to use your hand as a boom extension. The hoist works best for moving cargo between the hold and the deck. Up at the top of the forward mast there's a crow's nest, it's a great lookout point. Above that you'll find a couple of flags and there's also more rigging that you have to set up yourself. You'll also find a parrot there if that's where he wants to be right then. The small black pieces on the rigging are hand holds to allow your figures to slide from one mast to the other. Back down on the deck at the rear you'll find the captain's post with a wheel that you can turn but it's not actually connected to anything. And the round emblem at the back is more than just decoration. This is a special coin piece that works with the game in the Pirate Adventure Island set. This is considered a joker coin and can be used as a substitute for any of the silver coins in that set. Most of the aft deck can be removed to reveal the cabin space underneath and there's really not much detail there, it's all just one molded piece of plastic. It's up to you to make the best of it. There's an entrance on the side with stairs also for posing your figures going in and out. Speaking of the figures, here they all are now. Left to right it's the captain, I believe the first mate, a deckhand who used to be a captive of the soldiers that the pirates fight against and he was just recently rescued so they haven't figured out how to get his shackles off just yet. And the last figure on the right is either a kid or a little person. And here's what they all look like from behind. Here are all the accessories that are included for the figures to use. It's all sorts of stuff including weapons, a treasure map, a telescope and a ladle and bucket for water. They also have a couple tools for digging up treasure. The cord with the grappling hook and hand holds allows you to swing back and forth between different ships. The sack is probably for grain or flour and the treasure chest unfortunately is empty. So far you need to go out and find your own treasure. Here's a closer look at the two cannons that we saw earlier. These can be set up at a few locations on the deck of the ship and obviously they can also be used on land with their real rolling wheels. The barrels can be aimed up and down a bit and these do really shoot. They are spring loaded and here's the little firing lever here at the back. They fire off rubber tipped projectiles and a total of four of those are included in the set. The bright orange color is to help prevent these from being lost every time they get fired. Stuff like this likes to hide behind the legs of furniture. Overall I think this is a pretty nice set. I feel like I could ask for more playable details on the deck, but I realize that would make the set more expensive and it's already pretty expensive because of how big it is. My only two real dislikes are that you're not able to get that hoist out beyond the edge of the ship and the inability to use this reliably in water without buying an additional small little piece. 
I feel like the design and construction is good. The assembly process is very satisfying, getting all the lines set up. And even with the intentionally plainish style of Playmobil, this still makes for a very impressive display model on a shelf. Overall, I'm very happy with it, and I'm looking forward to hearing what all of you think about this pirate ship set. Please take a moment to share your thoughts in a comment, and hit thumbs down or thumbs up on the video depending upon which you think it deserves. Thanks much for taking the time to watch this video, I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that you'll come back for more because more videos are on the way from me very soon. Talk to you later.